Imagine a world where an entire nation is run on blockchain where millions of people take control of their digital lives without relying on governments or tech giants. Sounds like science fiction, right? Well, Charles Hoskinson, the founder and CEO of Input Output Global, IOG, believes this will become reality sooner than you think. In fact, he has revealed when Cardano, one of the most revolutionary blockchain projects out there, could be running a nation-state by 2030. Stick around, because today we're going deep into this bold prediction and exploring how Cardano is poised to change the world. Hey everyone, welcome back to the Zaki Crypto Update channel, where we bring you the most exciting and important updates in the world of cryptocurrency. Today's topic is absolutely groundbreaking, so make sure to watch until the end, because we're diving into a vision that could reshape global governance. Charles Hoskinson recently dropped some massive news, revealing that Cardano could be running a nation-state in just six years. This is no small statement, it's a complete reimagination of what blockchain can do. If you're as excited about the future of blockchain technology as I am, hit that subscribe button right now and turn on notifications so you never miss an update. Trust me, you won't want to miss what's coming next. Throughout this video, we're going to break down Hoskinson's plan for Cardano to run a nation-state, why he believes it's possible, and how the recent upgrades like the Chang hard fork and the transition into the Voltaire era are crucial steps in this journey. We'll also explore the upcoming Cardano Constitutional Convention and why December 2024 is a pivotal date for the future of the ecosystem. There's so much to cover, so make sure you stick with me as we unravel this incredible vision. But before we dive deeper into the specifics, if you're enjoying the content so far, take a moment to like this video. It really helps support the channel and ensures more people can discover these fascinating updates. And if you haven't subscribed yet, now is the perfect time to do so. Your support means everything, and we've got plenty of exciting content coming your way. Charles Hoskinson is known for his grand, visionary thinking, but his latest revelation might just be his most ambitious yet. During a keynote titled After Voltaire, The Next Evolution of Cardano, Hoskinson outlined a future where the Cardano ecosystem could be responsible for governing a nation-state by 2030. That's just six years from now. It's a bold claim, but not one without substance. Hoskinson's vision extends far beyond what most of us think blockchain can achieve. He doesn't just see Cardano as a platform for decentralized finance, DeFi, or smart contracts he sees it as a system that can take on real-world governance, creating a decentralized infrastructure that allows millions of people to control their digital lives. To understand why Hoskinson believes this is possible, we need to look at the fundamentals of Cardano's design. Unlike many other blockchains, Cardano has always been focused on scalability, sustainability, and interoperability. These aren't just buzzwords, they're the building blocks of a future where blockchain technology can run more than just financial systems. Hoskinson likens this vision to the American Revolution, a moment in history where the world's social contract was rewritten, moving power from the hands of the few to the hands of the many. In the same way, Cardano aims to rewrite the digital world's social contract, putting control back into the hands of users instead of giant corporations. One of the most fascinating aspects of Hoskinson's vision is the idea of a nation-state governed through blockchain. But what does this mean for everyday users? According to Hoskinson, the goal is to give individuals control over their digital lives. Instead of relying on massive corporations to manage personal data, financial transactions, or even voting systems, Cardano would enable decentralized governance where power is truly in the hands of the people. This is not a pipe dream. Cardano's community has already shown it can achieve what it sets out to do. Hoskinson praised the community for its ability to hit its milestones, stating that the ecosystem has the right people and resources to achieve any goal it sets. He emphasized that Cardano has the engine to drive forward, but it's up to the community to prove that they are the ones who can bring about this revolution. With the right will and coordination, Hoskinson believes the platform can lead the charge in creating a decentralized society. One of the most significant milestones in Cardano's journey towards decentralized governance happened recently with the implementation of the Chang hard fork on September 1st. This upgrade was a pivotal step towards making Cardano a fully decentralized ecosystem. But why is this important? The Chang hard fork is part of Cardano's roadmap towards the Voltaire era which will mark the point where governance is completely handed over to the community. This means that Cardano will no longer rely on centralized authorities for decision-making. Instead, the community will take the reins, voting on proposals, and guiding the direction of the ecosystem. According to the current roadmap, Cardano version 10 is set for pre-release testing soon, and the second controlled Chang hard fork is scheduled to launch next month. 
this will bring us one step closer to the full realization of the Voltaire era, where Cardano can begin its transition into a true decentralized governance model. This is a critical development because decentralized governance is the foundation upon which Cardano's nation-state vision rests. Without it, the idea of a blockchain-run nation-state wouldn't be feasible. The Chang hard fork and the Voltaire transition are about more than just technical upgrades, they're about laying the groundwork for a new kind of governance. Another key event on the horizon for Cardano is the Constitutional Convention, set to take place in Buenos Aires, Argentina, in December 2024. This event could be the turning point for the future of Cardano, as the community will vote on a roadmap that will shape the platform's priorities for the next several years. What makes this convention so important is the level of participation it promises. Hoskinson has emphasized that this is not about a few people making decisions for the whole ecosystem. Instead, the entire community will have a say in what Cardano focuses on moving forward. This could be anything from more conservative, incremental changes to a much bolder approach, where Cardano becomes a driving force for societal change. Hoskinson laid out two potential paths for Cardano, one that takes a cautious approach, focusing on small, manageable improvements, and another that aims to leverage the full power of blockchain technology to drive major societal shifts. The choice is in the hands of the community, and it's clear that whatever path they choose will have a profound impact on Cardano's future, and potentially the world's. Let's step back for a moment and consider the bigger picture. What Hoskinson is talking about isn't just the next phase of Cardano's development, it's a revolution in how we think about governance itself. Right now, we live in a world where most of our lives, both online and offline, are controlled by centralized entities. Whether it's governments, tech companies, or financial institutions, much of the power is concentrated in the hands of a few. Hoskinson believes that blockchain, and specifically Cardano, can change that. He envisions a future where control is decentralized, where individuals have the power to govern themselves and their digital lives. This isn't just about creating a new kind of financial system. It's about creating a new kind of social contract, one that's based on decentralized governance, transparency, and the empowerment of individuals. Hoskinson sees this as the next logical step in the evolution of society, and he believes Cardano has the potential to lead the way. If you're as fascinated by the potential of Cardano as I am, now is the perfect time to make sure you stay updated on all the latest developments. Hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications, and leave a comment below what do you think about the possibility of Cardano running a nation-state? Is this something you believe can happen, or do you think Hoskinson's vision is too ambitious? I'd love to hear your thoughts. Thank you so much for watching. Your support means the world to me, and I truly appreciate everyone who tunes in and engages with this channel. If you're hungry for more crypto content, don't forget to check out my other videos for more exciting updates, analyzes, and predictions. Until next time, stay tuned, stay informed, and stay empowered.